Here we are at the uh, Florida Strawberry Festival. Some cool architecture for the PamsCon show. It's not in this building. So let's go find out where we gotta go. Okay, we found the strawberry shortcake booth. There's no strawberry shortcakes. Ooh, they're six dollars. Let's keep on going. We have found the t-shirts, hats, and baby wear. Really? Lost and found caboose. Help me find the model show. That's pretty fun. I think I found it. Ten dollars, ten models. I wonder if I get ten models for ten dollars. So here we are. We have found the model area. Uh oh, I'm being, I've been caught. I'm gonna keep an eye on you. All right. <laughs> May the force be with you. There's like, there's the models, people wandering around. There's Clay. We know Clay. He he, he looks lost. Well, that's the car tables. There's a lot of them. So let's check them out. Oh, it's the sparkly one. You've seen this one before. Hmm. It's the GTO. You guys think about these lights should we have these lights or not put that down in the comments can we even get that small This one before it was at Acme. I believe it got the Le Mans thing because it's 
Lamans, those Lamans things, I think. Yes. Certainly colorful. Yeah. Got a beautiful 917. Then we have these oldies, but not necessarily goodies. We'll talk about these on a future episode. sharp right there alpha models more alpha model Yoshima it's got like lots of carbon fiber decal work interesting matte finish and it's got like some little sparklies see the little sparklies those are cool that's approved Those are old times. They're quite nice. There's a cool digger. I don't like those. Those are pillar trucks. That's pretty neat. It's a little sweetie pie. Uncertainty. This is interesting. Their models are civilian vehicles. And so this is a civilian vehicle, they say. So I think I'd drive that to work, probably. 
Impressive right there. It's a nice collection of Nissans. This is too funny. All right, this is interesting. So this fella has this sitting over here, and I guess that's this one right there, which is super cool because oh look, right there. Right there. <laughs> how funny. They're friends. So how did it hold up? subjects. I think that's boats. That's a stripey one. It's got lots of life preservers. I know they're probably not life preservers. That's got rigging. It's a heavy sandwich. Oh, look at this guy. 
next one. Whoa. These are the dioramas, obviously. And dioramas. That's pretty neat. That is fun with cotton batting and LEDs and a German airplane. This one's by my buddy, Tim Lilly, and he kind of goes to the beat of his own drum sometime. But there's a lot to see in this. And what's going on here? I'll just let you use your own imagination. Say hi, Tim. Hi, Tim. <laughs> I'm going to get my hands washed up and then we can get back out there if that sounds good with you. Perfect. So they have this iron modeler thing going on where these people have to build these models during the show. And I'm, I'm guessing you are participating? This is what's going on? Yeah. And what are you guys building? We're doing iron and they're building their thing. What do you? What is this thing? Um, so you know those start, like doors and Is, is it a croissant involved? No, that's just a Yeah, she's making an altar for the croissant. <laughs> <laughs> you know those doors in, from Monsters, Inc.? Okay, this is a door from Monsters, Inc. Yes. Well, do you know the prompt the contest? They, they, give us, they give us a box of random parts. Oh, okay. We have three items to create something. Okay. So, and that's basically like the free-for-all. Okay. All right, so this is the free-for-all over here. Yeah, it's just random stuff. Yeah, that looks like a bunch of... It's just a bunch of model parts and other... Like, okay. If I'm trying to go shopping with an eBay reseller, I should know. Okay, so can you bring your own tools? Yes. Do These you are bring... all actually my, own, my dad's own tools. Okay. No, it's a good majority of them, except for the spray gun. Okay. By the way, it is sponsored by Spray Gunner. Sponsored by Spray Gunner. Yes, we see it. Over there, they have 
booth. Here's the booth. We will check out the booth. That's approved. Well, good luck. Good luck to your your door. Well, we're working with what we have. Well, you got some insistent right there. Yeah, but it's evil. It's earlier. But it'll work. It's fine. And these guys are building a tank with missiles. It's mega tank. It's mega tank. Mega tank. Okay, that's approved. Well, I, I guess this is the mega tank on the yes, back of the yes. mega tank. It's the mega tank. Okay. Yeah, okay. We get it. We mega. Get it. It's the mega tank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these guys. He is uh, painting a box. So, so is um. We got WPDQ over here. WPDQ. All right. <laughs> So he's got a trailer. Um, so how do you guys think you're going to do up against Mega Tank over here? Well, <laughs> if I get a hold of that Mega Tank. <laughs> <laughs> well, I see there's some kind of Mega Tank down there. Or is that going on the Mega Trailer? That's going on the Mega Trailer. Okay. What that is is a steel. Oh, okay. That's okay. totally approved. It's a piece of industrial equipment. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's from what you tell everybody. I get it. This, um, this airbrush is not doing it. And this is the towing. Okay. So, so that's the towed. Yes. Yeah, so I had converted from a military thing into a into a uh, civilian vehicle. Okay. So there's the dashboard. Okay. <laughs> that sticks a few things, make it look jazzy up. I can't get this airbrush to work with the uh, paint. Just don't tell Spray Gunner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that's why I wanted to use my own airbrush, because my airbrush, I'm familiar with how it works when you're painting. Well, I, I'd say you're doing a fine job with it. Well, he needs to come over and start me out. <laughs> Where's he at? You you see him? Good, good luck, guys. Yeah. <laughs> got a big wheel inside. All right, come on, Max. You're going to go. It's fine. like he's in pain. This is interesting. And there's a lot of militaries. I don't know if that's approved. That is a cool model, by the way. It's a good job. Funny. Are you filming? I am. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> just, uh, I thought you were just being silly. Of course, I'm doing that too. <laughs> it's eating a dinosaur. It's even better. Dun 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 That's totally approved. <laughs> That's a big old tank. Yeah. 
position. Because it's like something, especially now, it's like, Check out the rockets. That's, that's a rocket. There's the Artemis. It's big. Saturn V.
kids. Okay, so the, uh, I was tell, telling your daughter, I, I don't think this is the Kessel Run. No, it's a Death Star Trench. It's a Death Star Trench. Yeah. Yeah, that looks more appropriate. Yeah. That's what it is. And they're all going through there, trying to blow something up. Yeah, they're headed towards the um, headed towards where the um, what is it? The exhaust port is that they're gonna blow up. So it's uh, it's about uh, three. So the Death Star Trench run that you get from Bandai is only if I remember. I can't remember if it was all four tiles or three tiles deep this way, and it's only two tiles deep this way. Okay. Plus the back. Okay. So I ended up buying a couple of the Death Star sets to put them together to okay. make a bigger Death where you could get in there. Because otherwise and you couldn't more get death. Yes. More, more death. Because <laughs> gotcha. otherwise you can't get the three TIE Fighters in there in the three X Wings um, where they're doing the uh, maneuvers. So yeah, so that's Luke in the in the lead there headed towards the uh, the exhaust port. Which this is actually the exhaust port you get in the kit. Okay. Because I wasn't doing that, I actually turned it into a wall and put um, tank rims in the holes to uh, to occupy it. Okay. So I had done that, but uh, but each Death Star kit comes with one X-Wing. So I bought two Death Star kits. So I had two X-Wings and I bought a separate X-Wing from Bandai. And then the, uh, the TIE Fighter kit comes with the Darth Vader TIE Fighter and the regular TIE Fighter. It's only got the two in there. And of course you need the third, like oh, yeah. in the movie. Yeah. So you have to buy another kit to get the, the third one. So, but yeah, everything's painted. Um, those are decals on the X-Wings. I got those from Etsy. Oh, okay. um, so they're actually the markings of each individual TIE Fighter. They were all, or not TIE Fighter, X-Wing. They were all different. They were all different. Hence you get Red 5, Red 2, Red 3 based off the number of stripes they had on there. Oh, okay. So, um, and then the positions they are in the movie as well. So, cool. yeah, so I spent off and on, I don't know, six months, seven months working on that. And doing some research, I had no idea the Death Star actually had tan panels in it because you don't see it when they're flying through there at speed. Okay. But when you actually looked at the studio setup where they had the trench run, there is tan panels in there. So awesome. put those in there. Very cool. Yeah, and it's uh it's all one one forty four scale. Okay. Stay on target. There you go. Tell me about it. We want to know about it. I don't know what it is. You tell me about it. <laughs> it's, called is, a, it's called a Flader Mouse. It's a what? Flader Mouse. A Vader. Flader. Flader Mouse. Yes. Here's okay. all the specifics on it. This is what I've done to it. Okay. And so, is this a real vehicle? No. Okay. It's a uh, SF3D uh, original science fiction from Nick Okay. That, uh... Did you hand paint all that? Yes. Base color is white. Then the stripes going from... Wingtip to wingtip is all two different colors of brown. Then the green comes from wingtip to center line, wingtip to center line. Okay. And the undercarriage is gold, gold gray. Okay. Well, it's pretty cool looking. It looks like it has a lot of thrust. Just a little bit. Okay. Thank you. But we gave it to Mr. Glenn Kaiser with his 1939 Ford Custom Converter. Congrats to all the winners and those iron modelers. After that, it was time to pack it up and head back to the bench. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, you know what to do, because I have all kinds of model car and maybe some prehistoric stories to tell. Thanks for watching.